Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Guys, I don't, can't tell you how much I just had to reread this to get it recorded. Because we have to be ever so careful the things that we ask God for. Because he may ask us to do some things that we're not willing to do or we're not strong enough to do. But if we do it in his name and by his will, his grace, we will reap the benefits of that. So I ask, ask God to search my heart, Lord. Search my heart. Family, if you are not walking with God, you're walking with the devil. And if your God is dead, come and try mine. Hey guys, and welcome back to another week's video. Today we are cooking. So I have decided to try back my vegan diet that I used to be on. I did it for like almost a year before. I think in 2022, 22? Yeah, 2022, um, I was completely vegan. And then I started back eating meat again. So now, um, since I came off of my fast, I've decided to not go pumping back all that meat in my body, but, um, try to let's see if I can go back plant-based for now okay um, I have some stuff I want to fix like I'm tired of my weight I'm tired of my stomach like I don't know when that came so so what I'm making here right now is some coconut milk because I'm about to make some pumpkin soup now going vegan is not easy because you have to make a lot of the your food prep has to be on point and it's a lot more work versus um, regular cooking um, so I am doing coconut milk so that I don't use the one in the can or the powdered one anything processed is not good for you and that is one of my um, agitations with living in the U.S. and that's why I'm so over the U.S. and I'm asking God to make a way for me to get out of this place because the longer I stay here the shorter my life will be and I'm saying that with all all honesty um, the things that we eat here they're not when they say they're organic they're not truly organic and I've been complaining about that over and over um, even the fruits we buy the vegetables we buy they're not truly organic. Um, I went to the doctor today and, you know, I was talking to him about this and he was like, yeah, he can feel me. He understand where I'm coming from. Um, and organic just means they didn't grow with pesticides, you know? But, yeah. So, as you can see, I just put the, the coconut to blend and I used the coconut water. So I don't put any regular water in this. You use the actual coconut water to um, to do the coconut milk. When you add regular water to this, like you can't you can't put it, save it for too long in the fridge, right? Now I just made enough to do my soup, so I'm kind of doing like a meal prep. So I'm making the soup, um, but I'm making more than I need for today. So that I can have some in the fridge. Um, like I said, doing this plant-based stuff, it's a lot of work. Okay? Especially if you want to try and do it right. So, here's the coconut milk that I got. Um, I love to drink this. It tastes really, really nice. Because I love coconut. So, it tastes really, really nice. And I like drinking it. But I'm going to be putting it in the soup today. So I am making some pumpkin soup. Now normally when I make my pumpkin soup, if I'm not doing a vegan type thing, um, I would put less ingredients in here 
but then some ingredients that I probably shouldn't be drinking. One of them, um, I would have put some milk in here, probably like some carnation milk. I would have added like butter in here and I would definitely add some sugar and some spice, like some um, nutmeg and some cinnamon. But I'm not doing that today. Um, I'm going to use the coconut milk to replace the carnation milk. I'm not going to use any sugar and I am going to um, not put any cinnamon in there since I'm not doing any sugar. Um, I'm going to use salt and pepper and some Mrs. Dash. I am going to add, this is normally what I put in there, I would put the broccoli and the carrots and that's it. But I'm adding a little bit more to it because this is what I'm going to be eating for dinner. And I need some heavier stuff in here, right? I can't put any potatoes in here because potatoes has a lot of starch in it. And um, starch can turn in, turns into sugar basically. Um, the carbohydrates, it turns into sugar. So no potatoes, no dumplings. It's just the pumpkin soup, okay? So I am going to be adding um, some okra in it and then I put in some uh, mushrooms. However, if I was to make this again, I wouldn't do the mushroom in it. I love mushrooms, but I, I've come to realize like I prefer mushrooms to be sauteed or something. Um, not in, I don't like the texture of it in a soup. So my pumpkins I had to run to the store because I thought I had carrots and I did not have any carrots and I really wanted some carrots in it so I left the pumpkin cooking while I went to the store which was a bad idea because I needed to have the carrots in with the pumpkin so now I'm putting the carrots in but my pumpkin is already cooked so that's why you see me mashing the pumpkin up um, and then leave the carrots so I'll have something to chew on. What I have learned is um, sometimes we want to liquefy everything, but that's not a good idea. Your brain works off of when you chew. So the more you're chewing, the more fuller your, um, your brain would, uh, would stimulate and say that, okay, she's eating, she's full, she's full. But if you're drinking, 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 your brain is not going to say she's full so you'll feel hungry more quicker again if that makes any sense okay so um i'm trying to put some stuff in here so that i can feel i can chew and i can feel the heaviness in my stomach when i'm done basically okay so i'm adding all the different seasonings in there um the, the okra and the broccoli i'm gonna put those in after when i feel like my carrots are cooked enough then i am going to put those in because i don't want them to melt away um another thing too is i have to start trying to eat the food not fully cooked um and it's not meat or anything it's a lot of vegetables so the more you cook them the less of the nutrients you get so you kind of don't want them to cook out too much but just halfway cook if that makes any sense so I'm adding some black pepper to it I'm gonna add the salt I'm also gonna put two um two cloves not cloves two um two pieces of uh, garlic <laughs> I'm adding the salt now and then I'm gonna put some pimento seeds in there along with some cloves and this will give it all of that nice spice taste that it needs to have so that you know because I'm not putting a bunch of like um, different seasonings in there salted seasonings so just the Mrs. Dash okay so as you go um, you're gonna add some water and the last thing you want to put in this is the coconut milk. Um, the reason for that is the longer the coconut milk cooks, the more it's not, it's not going to be creamy anymore. 
and you're cooking away the milk itself and basically leaving the oil so you never want to put that in before so I did forget to put in my corn so I went I looked behind me I was like oh my gosh my corn but I can eat this corn raw like that this is not the um the pre-cooked corn I don't buy that anymore so I don't want it to cook completely anyway so I was like okay that's fine so I added some more water to it so that um, it can basically cook the other stuff down now I'm adding the coconut milk because I'm about to turn the stove off so I'm gonna let the coconut milk cook for about two minutes and then I'm gonna turn the stove off Like I said, I love to drink the coconut milk. <laughs> so, okay guys, here is the soup. So you see, I have, um, it's like a gum gumbo, they call it, I think, type of soup. Okay guys, so I have decided to change up my room. Um, normally when I do stuff like this, it helps with my mood, when my space is um, feeling like new clean that type of thing now I will admit to you this is about three to four o'clock in the morning um, yeah this is the last day of my fast and I was up um, participating in church so I decided I knew that I was gonna be up to participate in church and in order for me to stay up I was like yeah I'm gonna have to be doing something so I left my bed to I already like was cleaning my room and I was like let me leave my bed so that that will keep me up and I'll do my bed while you know praise and worship and all the other formalities is going on and then when it's time for the preaching I should be seated and waiting for the word <laughs> so that's how I was able to stay up so I decided to finally put this green on my bed so it's like an army green and you guys I've shown you guys this in a haul since I think last year September October or so I had gotten these from I think it was Wayfair. Wayfair had a sale and I had gotten this color and a rust color. So you saw me use the rust color for fall last year and this is the green one. So I try to ensure that my sheets are properly tucked underneath because I'm not going to be making my bed, my entire bed every day. I'm not. Uh, when baby Zyla gets up in the bed, it's a different story because she pushes herself under all the sheets however when I tuck my sheets properly she doesn't get like this bottom part messed up okay so I've had this coverlet for well it's a blanket I've had this for I want to say about four years now three about three years probably three years now I had this um and it's the time it's not as cold as it been so I've decided to remove the two I had two um and my I had two inserts in my duvet which you know it was very heavy when you go under there like no matter how cold it is you're warm so it's time to lighten up my bed now if you guys remember I had the two um backrest pillows on my bed the burgundy ones so they actually they stained my headboard um, I'm not worried because the headboard is, um, it is performance fabric. I just need to get the machine and clean the, um, headboard. So shampoo the headboard is what I'm trying to say. So once I shampoo the headboard, I'll get that red out. Um, but yeah, they stained my headboard. So that was a bummer. So what I'm doing is I'm going back now with my gray. I was going to make some new ones, but I could not think on what color I wanted those to be. 
so I was like let me just stick with my gray so I put the gray back and um, I had these um, pillow covers these accent pillow covers you guys have seen these before I got these from Ikea about two years now I think yeah about two years ago and this is my second time using them and you guys know that lumbar pillow I actually made that so I decided to incorporate the gray on the bed because they wouldn't have had any other gray on the bed besides the backrest pillows so I'm using this throw that I got from Kirtland's I got this from Kirtland's I think sometime last year probably for fall I think I, I don't think I got it for Christmas but I remember buying two of them but I could only find one I don't know what happened to the next one because I was gonna put them together to make it seem longer on the bed so guys this is how my room turned out um, I'm sorry for the footage I don't know why my camera was doing that like creating these lines of shadow um, I don't know I was messing with some of the settings and I guess this is what it did but I did eventually change the settings um, again because I did notice it when I was doing like a b-roll and I went and changed it but I didn't realize like all of this photo also um, footage sorry also had it okay so guys this is how the bed turned out and it's like it's subtle and that is the mood that I'm in right now um, subtle I don't want any distractions I don't want any fuss or anything like that um, I want my space to feel very peaceful and this is what this is doing to me because I don't have any bright colors happening everything is very subtle and it's entering into spring so I do actually like this color and I'm seeing the color a lot which um, I guess you guys will start to see it a lot too for spring in terms of these sun. I've been trying to hide from her so that I can get stuff done. Hi, I got a tummy. I got a tummy. I've been trying to hide from her so that I can get what I have to get done done to finish this video. I'm really, I'm really not in. The, yes, I. Zella, no. I heard Auntie telling you no. How do you want? I heard Auntie, Auntie telling you to wait. Leave me alone. Auntie said so Auntie said yes. She said. Oh, I heard her. She told you wait an hour. She's gonna give it to you. Hunties wait. Hunties yes. Guys, I am trying to. Zella, stop. I'm trying to do the entryway. Um, it's gonna be very simple. But what I'm doing is I'm gonna show you how you can take an inspirational picture and you can. Um, mimic that in your home but give it your own little twist okay so it's uh design cafe something zala leave that alone okay so i'm going to redo i need a belt i need to redo my tummy is going down um i need to redo my hallway so let me I reprinted the pictures and I'm gonna show you um, I'm about to change the pictures out because the pictures I have right there what I have there now has color in it and I need to um, I need to neutralize everything so you're gonna see based on the inspiration image versus what I'm doing how that's gonna look okay um, so let me change the Get the frames so that I can change out the artwork. Okay? I'll be back.
She just asked me for them. I tell she no. I hear auntie tell she wait an hour. She thinks she's sleep. Okay, y'all. This is... This is the art that's in them right now. I printed these. I think from Etsy. Since they're so small, I could have copied and pasted. Okay. So, let me change these out. Oh, and I'm replacing them with these. I don't know how I'm liking them so far, but I got to see them in the frame. So, this is the artwork that I bought from Etsy. Leave it. And what I did is I um, put it in Photoshop and then I in I put it in Photoshop and then I cut the one artwork into four. So when I put it together, it should um, it should show show the artwork. I don't know if I have the pictures close enough. Okay, so let me change these out and then. We go from there. I'm trying to see if I can set you guys up because I'm working on the bed. Zyla. I hope you guys can see. Zyla! Zala, get out the bathroom. What? Listen. What, Grandma? What? Grandma, what? Do not watch me. That's rude. It's rude. Yes. Yeah, Zala rude. Zala very rude. No, Zala rude. Yes. That rude. You're rude, I was. That rude. Okay, I need something to lift these up. It's hurting my hand. just realized my mistake so these are on a glossy paper maybe that's why because I couldn't get the color I couldn't get this color to to show the cream it keep giving me this gray color that's what I'm saying I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but I use a glossy paper for those so maybe that's why I got the color the color printed different on the gloss paper but well, let's anyhow let me, I'm going to install them anyways to,
files She makes the equal with the shio Yeah, we about to go viral Shorty can play the piano uh, We can make a beat right now We can make a beat right now Yeah, yeah Let me load the thing right now You really gonna love this sound? Yeah, yeah My sherry more I need you, my love I want you by my side I can't get enough My sherry more I need you, my love I can't get enough You know that's for sure Okay guys, let's go ahead and design this space. So what I decided to do was put the inspirational picture up here in the right hand corner so that you guys can vision what I am doing, okay? So as I mentioned before, this art that I have inside of these frames are from uh, artwork that I have downstairs on the featured wall downstairs. I just used that artwork, I split it into four, and I printed four separate images, and I put them in this frame. That's all I did. For this styling, you're gonna see where I did not purchase anything, everything I had in my home. Okay. Now, I'm realizing that something don't look right here. <laughs> some are higher than some, they aren't even, and I'm like, why, they used to be even before. I then realized, that I had them hanging on the frame and not the hook behind of them. So once I figured that out, uh, we were good to go. And the bottom ones were the same as well. So my top image is turned wrong. And I'm now seeing that as we are as I am here doing this voiceover. So at first I was going to use this white vase on top of the table and then I changed my mind. I wanted to be warm and that vase wasn't giving me warm. So I decided to add this vase instead, which gave me a pop of color, but it was still very subtle, okay? And then I added these two candlesticks that I bought from, I think from Ross last year sometime. I've had these for quite a while and never really used them. I think I used them once on a console table. Now underneath, I'm going to place the vases underneath just like you see in the inspirational picture. The reasons for putting them on this side, as you would have seen in the inspirational picture, is that it creates a balance, okay? Now guys, this is how the styling turned out. As you can see, it is extremely minimal. It is clean line and it is very modest and very monotone with a pop of Color. The pop of color is what did it for me because I have the black doors Because I have this black table. I didn't want to Add any harsh blackness on top of the table um, That's not what I was going for not to say that it couldn't work, but that is not what I was going for I wanted a mixture. I think this pop of color because it's so subtle. It's not like in your face It's added a completely different interest to the whole styling and remember guys I always tell you when you're redoing an inspiration or anything make it your own this is how i made this my own now i may change out these vases underneath because i do have another vase downstairs that i can use but um i'll see i'll see if you know how it feels each day as i pass this table i know that this area right here is um it's very i don't know I kind of ignore it a lot and I need to stop doing that um, but as you can see everything is blending so beautifully with the modern looking doors now um, and now this entryway table is now working with all of that it turned out real beautiful I'm in love with it it looks really nice like I said the only thing I may change out is the vases underneath I may use a different vase um, I don't know which one I would switch if I do switch 
but I think I want something a little lower to kind of go back to what the inspiration was showing. So guys, you can do stuff like this in your home. Um, the purpose why I really wanted to show you guys the inspiration that I got versus what I'm doing is so that you can see that you can do these things in your home. You just need to know what about that inspiration you're in love with and then try to run with that. Okay, so guys comment down below and tell me what you think about this restyling and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Always remember, never let your budget dictate your style, but create a space that you love. Design for life.